How's it going everybody? It's your host Matt 10. So am I actually enjoying PES 2021? In this video, I'm going to talk about my general thoughts on PES 2021, how I'm actually playing it, and what my plans are with it. Alright, so welcome again to my channel Realistic Sports Gaming. My name is Matt 10. I'm the host of this channel. Again, I'm going to talk about PES 2021. For me, honestly, it was not a game I had planned on touching or playing at all. There's just something about PES 2021 where I just didn't like the physics of the play, the physical movement of players, the over, you know, dependency on tactics. You know, there's just those things that have always plagued me with this game and I know it started with PES 2020 well it's probably started a little bit further beyond that but if we talk about kind of more recent times PES 2020 was really where it started and then 2021 had this update everybody said okay there's nothing that's changing gameplay wise and whatnot and I believed that and when I played I also believed that so you know the thing with PES is that it's PES right great ball physics terrible tactics Terrible tactics as in deep defensive line, all-out defense, long ball, attack defense levels. I've said it all before. You know, you can easily just go on my video and look through the archives of things I've talked about. Now, there are some things that have been fixed over time, uh, in particular defensive midfielders. That was a big thing of mine that I was hoping would get addressed. And somehow in PES 2019, I even had a video where I felt vindicated finally that defensive midfielders actually stayed in their position and actually cut off angles and protected the defensive line finally. So honestly, how am I playing PES 2021? The first step for me is to choose the right settings. Now I know that seems obvious. You guys are probably like, really Matt, that's it? I can end the video? Yes, you probably can. Because some of the things I'm going to mention here are pretty obvious, but choosing the right settings. Now, what do I mean by choosing the right settings? Difficulty level. Difficulty level. This is a big one in PES because difficulty level determines how the AI is going to play. But also, for me, it's not just of how they're going to play. It's what, they're, what are they going to execute perfectly? Because in modern day PES, there's very little error in the CPU play unless you go into very low difficulties and then you start to see that human aspect you know I've said it for years I've said it in FIFA I always want to humanize the CPU so what what difficulty would I really be playing on it's not superstar it's not top player it's actually not even professional it's a regular difficulty I know Believe me, it definitely is a strange one. And I, you know, I, I was actually playing PES 2019 this way because I was thinking about just committing to PES 2019. I really liked it as a base and I hoped that, you know, I could just kind of create some some type of tactic change that I've talked about before um, and hoping that, you know, that would just let me cruise into maybe PES 2022 whenever that day comes. <laughs> but... For PES 2021, right, eFootball, I keep calling it PES. I haven't called it eFootball yet. I'm not giving into any of that. But for PES 2021, I play on regular difficulty. But of course, you know, the focus on there is how am I compensating for, you know, to create that difficulty, right? But in terms of regular difficulty, you know, before you scoff at it, which you probably already have, you've probably scoffed at it. But for me, the big thing is more missed shots, more missed passes, uh, an AI that's more physical and sometimes even more clumsy, but then also the balance of being challenging. I can't just dribble throughout the pitch and not be closed down. You can see it. I can, I've tried it, and it's, it's still pretty good, so there's still a lot of challenge. But of course, that leads me into the next point. You can't just make it about difficulty. You have to find now compensation and of course that means controls so the controls i have here i'm using full manual that's right full manual with passing shooting and of course crossing just takes care of that through ball as well 
and honestly it's it's difficult because there's just so much focus that you have to have and it, it makes it okay the fact that i'm playing a regular because the a the, the cpu doesn't you know they seem to kind of be in that same mindset like they're very particular about their pass but sometimes they're not and they're just just hoofing it up the pitch or something like that and it's not always accurate right and that builds some form of variety that air prone cpu builds that variety that you're looking for so that's exactly what i'm getting now is i'm getting that variety and i'm honestly having to change the way i play a little bit because i can't make certain passes i'm also playing on a camera angle which with an actual angle so i have to be really particular about how i you know how i cross or how i send a through ball or how i make a very straightforward pass with the right amount of with the amount of power in it in addition i don't have the power bar power bar on because i don't really like it to begin with i never have so i like that idea of just kind of feeling the game so for me it's about feeling the game and of course that leads me to my next part the next adjustment is tactics you've got to feel like there's a sense of congestion in the midfield a sense of actually feeling pressure this channel i you know i could change it from realistic sports gaming to you know just realistic congestion in the midfield of a soccer field i know that'd be too much to write but at the same time it really is about that the thing with with pes 2021 in particular and i'd say probably 2020 19 okay so probably most modern day pass is that there's just not enough congestion in the midfield and the biggest culprit of course is tactics making like you know values such as deep defensive line all-out defense the attack defense levels things i've mentioned earlier but the big thing is just getting that compression in that midfield to create that sense of anything can happen which it should it shouldn't be constantly top of the box to top of the box now that can happen of course but i wanted to create that sense of just attention in the midfield kind of more build up play as a result and that's going to increase more you know variety that we're looking for so of course what i've done here is playing PES 2019 I wanted to apply the same thing I had there which is my lineup adjustment fix from PES 2019 I've linked the video here but I'm also going to explain it briefly here so you guys can understand what I'm doing and how this goes about so keep in mind with this adjustment you would want to ideally be playing on PC of course because you can have a, a mod that allows you to control both sides allows you to switch sides in a master league in a league mode etc now I know if you don't have that then you know fortunately you're just gonna have to do this for the user side or if you really want to commit to this which I would recommend and it shouldn't take too long is restart or start a new master league and let's say that's something you've been wanting to do and go in and edit the teams you're going to be playing against and playing with. So I know that might be a little labored, but honestly, that would make a big difference. And you, you know, first try it in exhibition to see if you like it, of course. Or I, I call it exhibition, I meant kickoff, but you know what I mean. So what you'll do is you go to the game plan. And in the game plan, you're going to go to first the advanced instructions. You're going to turn that off. Um, I would turn all of it off if you could, but mainly if you're going to turn off any of them, deep defensive line, turn that off. And then from there, go to the edit position and ensure that the center midfielders are right in line with the defenders. So pretty much all the way until their position changes. So let's say they, uh, a center midfielder changes to a center back and then just move on up and then the same with the other midfielders i the goal that i would say is really to keep everybody on a certain side of the pitch right so most of the time with pests it's from bottom to top so just make sure everybody's on the lower side of the halfway line is and that alone will create that congestion and then for the forward you really just want to make sure they, they reach it to the point that their their position changes but closer to the other players the best and that's really it one other thing i'd recommend is don't make anybody a defensive midfielder a dmf position because there's there's no recommendation here to use 
um, to use fluid formation. So unless you choose to use fluid formations, fine. Out of possession, you can change them to DMF. But if you're not going to do that, then keep them as CMF central midfielders. That way they don't try to hang behind or hang back and don't do anything. So that would be my recommendation. But really, that's it. It's a really quick adjustment fix. And as you can see, you can probably do it with multiple teams in the edit uh, file and, and get it done. But I highly recommend this. This is exactly what's making me really enjoy the game again. So the last thing I'm doing, of course, I might have mentioned is I'm playing on the PC. Now on the PC, I'm using the incredible, incredible mod that I think everybody's using this is the Virtual Red Patch 2021. It is amazing. It's the most recent version. I've linked it below to the Evo Web thread. And honestly, check it out because the guys at Virtual Red, who I've used since 2017, just consistently come up with amazing content. Um, definitely check it out because if you're on the PC, you want stadiums, teams, kits, leagues, the works. I mean, there's, I don't know, 600 plus stadiums and they're beautiful. And it's really cool to see lower league stadiums. You know, I didn't think with PES that I could really want to maybe use a lower league English side. You know, I know it's championship, but still, that's something I've been considering. I've been primarily using FIFA for that, but I never thought about it for PES. PES just never felt like an English football uh, type of setup. It just never felt right. I always felt like Bundesliga, La Liga, Liga, something like that, but never to the point where it was English or Premier League or anything like that. I just never felt it, it, it didn't have the right feel. Um, now, that may just be me. You guys can let me know what you think there, but... I'm currently considering it though because that's how good this mod is so definitely check it out. So from here what are my plans? Obviously I'm enjoying PES 2021. I I don't know you know what was taking me so long. I mean I've been working on FIFA which of course I'll have video on that working on sliders of course um, but really PES 2021 surprised me and I think I have to give credit to PES 2019 for that. Because what I've experienced in PES 2019 was very simple, better physics almost, but at the same time, it, it just had a, a sense that, that there was just kind of more old school PES to it. And from what I, every time I watched PES 2021 videos, I just thought to myself, man, this looks, this looks really rough around the edges. Like animations to me just, just seemed really off putting, but when you make all these adjustments and you kind of start to accept certain things, which I, as I'm getting older, I'm starting to accept more. I think it's allowed me to just kind of sit back and just enjoy it for what it is and make the best out of what I know. And that's pretty much what I've done here. So in terms of my plans, Master League for sure. And you know, I simply miss it. I haven't done a Master League in so long. And I feel like I'm a broken record because I always feel like every time I mention Master League, I always say right after that i haven't done one in so long and it really has been a while so i'm doing that that's going to happen on this channel anyway guys here's a question to you what's the number one gameplay improvement you want for pest 2022 leave your comment below i'd really like to hear your thoughts i haven't even thought about pest 2022 but you guys have probably been playing pest 2021 longer than i have so I'd love to hear what you are looking for gameplay improvement for PES 2022. All right, everyone, make sure to answer that question. I'm going to use it for my next Q&A. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, take care and stay tuned.